we can put all of those functionalities right there in an intercept between the meter and the socket. So you're solving really the space and the installation cost component by putting all this capability inside a single device that allows you to install it about 15 minutes and then connect it to this and you're done. It does all the work itself. You can plug any EV charger into it. Our, our product is compliant. Um, uh, <clears throat> we currently manufacture in a combination of Mexico and the United States. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming back to you from RE Plus, which is the International Solar Conference here in Las Vegas. And this afternoon I'm joined by Whit Fulton, founder and chief product officer at Connector. And we're talking all about uh, connector and meter socket adapters. So Whit, it's good to meet you. Thanks for taking time to chat with hey, us Joe, this thank afternoon. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Well, uh, Whit, it seems that this is the direction that a lot of the companies are going now, is, is doing the grid interconnection uh, or you know the connection or disconnection from the grid right at the meter socket adapter. Why do you think that that approach is, is becoming very, very popular with installers compared to the old way of doing your grid, um, your grid disconnect and bypass? Sure. Well, the, the meter socket adapter in its like sort of core functionality, if you think about it, you're accessing a point where you have the mains coming in from the grid, you have the two hots going into the house, and you have the ability to do branching off of that, either for data or power, and also put a disconnect in the middle. It's a very powerful space to be working in. And historically, a number of people have tried to do this before in various iterations. We've been around for about 13 years now, and we started with a solar product only. It was effectively a line-side tap. We still sell it. And it's just a power interface with a circuit breaker embedded in it that allows you to connect solar only, so for generation. But we always had the notion that because you're sitting between the grid and the home and the branch circuit, you can do a lot more there. And as the technology evolves and as power evolves and the grid evolves, you'll be able to do more things to add more value. So what's happening now is that transition from classic net energy metering with solar into a more battery storage centric world we can add things in there that allow you to take advantage for those, those storage systems that you couldn't take advantage for otherwise. So the actual genesis of the product, sort of the idea before, I worked for a Cleantech 1.0 company called, Grid, uh, called GridPoint. You know, GridPoint's been around for a while and we had this lead acid batteries in a box. To connect it, we had to have the transfer switches, we had to have the sub panels, we had to get it down the stairs. It was a huge headache and very expensive. I saw a meter change out one day and I realized that we can put all of those functionalities right there in an intercept between the meter and the socket. And so now that battery storage is becoming much more lower cost and because the industry is changing to require much more, by putting a disconnect, data capture, and a universal interface to those devices in there, you can save a lot of time and money and complexity in an install. Yeah, yeah, makes a lot of sense, makes a lot of sense. So yeah, you know, traditionally, we, if we're gonna wire the house for solar with battery backup, we had to have some sort of a transfer switch so that we could disconnect the home from the grid but still energize solar and battery power into the house, right? But running those circuits to and from the transfer switch could be very expensive, very cumbersome, especially depending on what kind of space you have to work with. Yep. Um, but you said before even that, there was a, there was a version for solar tie-in, so you didn't have to do a, what, like a main panel upgrade or didn't have to do a, a backfed breaker? That's correct. We still sell that. It's, still, it's actually, we move a lot of that product in places where you still have net energy metering 1.0 style models, where people don't want to do line side taps or they want to be able to do it very quickly without having to look at any of the, the, the wiring and service panel in the basement of a house on the East Coast and even in the West Coast in some cases where the service panel is very undersized. Okay, okay. Now I understand you had an EV charger version as well. Is that still available? We do. We, we actually, we offer an EV charger version. It's effectively, you know, it provides, you know, you know um, uh, energy management system type functionalities inside the product to allow you to draw load from that same adapter where historically we were only pushing generation into it through the solar product. Now you can draw from the EV charger. You plug a level two charger in. It's got a six, 60 amp circuit breaker in it. So you go up to 48 amps on the charger. And literally you're connecting right at your panel. And if the combined draw of the home and the EV charger is a little too high for the service, it'll temporarily turn off the EV charger. It's a very simple solution, but it's very easy for customers to adopt. Makes sense, makes sense. Now the version we're looking at here, this is the Islander, correct? Yes, it is. Okay, so when you look at the, the, um, the Islander meter socket adapter with a battery storage solution, like right now we're at, we're at the Lunar Energy booth here, so we're looking at the Lunar Energy battery storage and inverter system. So kind of walk us through how the install would work or how the operation would work for a configuration like this. Sure, so <clears throat> the long and short of it is, Currently, if you want to put, especially in a combo meter socket panel, where you have the meter socket and the circuit breakers in a single integrated panel, which is 
typical of the West Coast. There's really no place you can get inside that panel to create a break between the metering and the service panel. So if you want to do a whole house disconnect, what you need to do is you need to rip out a bunch of those, the, those services, those, those circuit breakers, put them into a sub panel and put a transfer switch between that sub panel and the, and the, the combined panel. With a meter socket adapter, like the Islander, with a mid in it, a microgrid interconnection device, we effectively allow Lunar to call that, that mid and say, hey, when the power goes out, I want you to go out. When the power comes back on, I want you to come back on. The brains are in here. Lunar has the, has the opportunity. We are just a, a, a talented peripheral, think of it that way. We're also capturing all the data on both lines that Lunar system needs to make decisions as for non-export, is the grid up, is the grid down, et cetera, et cetera. So you're solving really the space and the installation cost component by putting all this capability inside a single device that allows you to install it about 15 minutes and then connect it to this and you're done. Today's video is brought to you by Lunar Energy. If you're looking for a whole home solar and smart energy management system that is highly scalable and fastest to install, then you need to take a look at Lunar Energy. Lunar Energy offers an all-in-one solar storage and smart energy management system, including whole house backup, smart circuit breakers, and a modular stackable design. Lunar AI makes a custom plan every day for every home, optimizing against everything from changing energy rates to the weather. So if you're serious about maximizing your energy savings and you want a single system for smart home energy management, then go to lunarenergy.com so you can get connected with an approved installer in your area right away. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And you know, as a former installer, I can really appreciate this. The last thing you want to do is going inside and doing surgery on the home's internal wiring. Right? And especially in California, where you said a lot of times there's really not even any space to work. Because yep. you've got your, your main load center, your service comes in, your meter base, it's all right there in one enclosure. Yep. And so if you can do something like this, it allows you to do your, your solar tap effectively outside of the customer's panel. You know, I think just, it does a lot to streamline the installation and, and reduce risk. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said so. And one of the things that's you know that sets our part, product apart a little bit because there are other are other islanding adapters out there. You know, Tesla has one, Enphase has one. At the end of the day, our mission has always been to be as broad and as really vendor agnostic as we can. So for our, exist, our original solar product, we design it so it works with any 1741 capable inverter. For our EV product, we don't have any data interface between the EV charger and our product. It does all the work itself. You can plug any EV charger into it. So we wanted to bring that paradigm forward. So for our product, we do have a, a, a data protocol, which is analog, which each partner we work with involves an integration to. But we kept that integration very open and we're willing to work with a whole variety of partners in order to be sort of like the, the non-proprietary opportunity and solution for everybody else. That's great, because I, I do see that trend. You know, a lot of the co companies, or the OEM companies, are going to like all-in-one type solutions that are more closed systems. But I have seen your product, even just being here this week at RE Plus, I've seen your product at a handful of uh, booths, like like Lunar here. I think I saw that maybe at the Franklin booth as well earlier this morning. So, is is interoperability something that you're committed to long term, or very you... much so? Okay, absolutely. This is really sort of the the, the watchword for our company: interoperability, open standards to allow as much and rich an ecosystem as possible. We don't want to be a walled garden. We want to be as, and we, obviously we want to move a lot of product by having the best product available in the market. And we, we do that by being very easy to work with, by having very clearly published protocols. We've got whole standards for bringing people into the system. And also, this is actually a good opportunity for me at this moment to talk about how we work with different partners. Lunar Energy in particular, we work with a lot of really great battery storage companies, but I want to talk about the company culture that we experienced at Lunar. They are incredibly well run, they are incredibly well informed, their technology is very strong, they communicate very well, and we've re really been a, a joy to work with them, which really speaks to the ability and scalability of this company. I think they're going to do very well in the market. That's great. That's good to hear. And I think that is a challenge right now, too, because there are so many different uh, inverter and battery providers in the market right now that there's a lot of noise out there. And part of what we're trying to do here at Solar Surge is help help customers and installers cut through that noise and focus on what we believe to be the, the true market leading products, products that you can, uh, frankly, that you can you can bet on it with a long term partnership you know, with your installation company. Yep. So uh, as far as where is the, the, the meter base available now in distribution? Or are you selling direct to contractors or how do you go about that? Yeah, um, in almost all circumstances, we meet with the battery storage provider in distribution. 
So we work okay. with um, uh, CD Green Tech. We uh, work with Baywa. We Most of the major distributors will carry our product. And we're just getting manufacturing off the ground for this product. It is going through final approvals in PG&E, SoCal Edison, and SDG&E now. Um, uh, we have Arizona open already. We have Illinois open already. We should have most of the major states where there's a strong battery storage component associated with install ready to go by the end of the year or early next year. As far as manufacturing goes, we are ramping very rapidly. We should have very substantial volumes available in November, December of this year. Sounds good, sounds good. Now, of course, another topic that's sort of timely right now is this issue of domestic manufacturing or domestic content. Uh, is your product compliant or is there, is there a plan to get, to get it there? Our, our product is compliant. Um, uh, <clears throat> we currently manufacture in a combination of Mexico and the United States, okay. and we can dial things up and down. We are obviously doing the same tariff dance that everybody else is doing, but as of right now, we are in a very good place. That's good to hear, good to hear. Well, uh, what, is there anything else that the audience should know about the, the Islander or about Connector or where you guys are going in the future? Um, uh, as far as the Islander goes, it's, you know, this is actually a labor of love. I've been doing this for 13 years. We started the company back in you know, 2011, 2012. And uh, this is sort of the culmination of a vision I had for a long time. And we've been planning this specific product for the last seven years. And on top of that, there are, if you think about sort of the paradigm I was talking about, like our vision to ultimately make distributed generation the cheapest and most sort of obvious power to go to, our goal as a company is to continue innovating in technologies that takes the cost down for implementing. Right now it's data, historically it was power connection. We're looking to marry those two things together over time, but we're also looking to go beyond that to create more things that take out soft costs in the industry. If we can do that, we can make it an obvious choice for homeowners to go solar, to go storage, use EVs, et cetera, especially with the grid power going up as fast as it is. So we want to be part of that major solution that allows people to work beyond the current paradigms into the, where the industry needs to go in sort of this post BBB world. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that is sort of the, the issue of the day right now is how do we knock the cost of solar down to the point where even after the loss of the, the 25D tax credits, solar is still an affordable, viable option you know, for most homeowners. And I, I believe that it will be. Yeah, and so. no, I, I think, I think it's going to be a no-brainer, honestly. But it's the responsibility of all the vendors out here, all the big companies that are installing, to find ways to continue to pivot to the new paradigm. Because we're going to get there, and we're going to do very, very well as an industry. Sounds good. Well, folks, this has been a chat with Whit Fulton. He's the founder and chief product officer at Connector. We've been looking at their new Islander device. allows you to do your, your grid interconnection at the meter base, so you don't have to modify inside the house wiring. Uh, as a solar installer. I think it's going to be a great, great cost and time saver for you solar installers out there. Uh, but that pretty much does it for today's video. Uh, as always, guys, if you're getting good value from the content that you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new product videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. But uh, Whit, I thank you for spending some more time with us today. Hey, Joe, thank you so much. It was really enjoyable. You got it. And, and folks, thank you for spending some more time on the channel. But that does it for today. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.